Hey what's up everybody, it's Dallas with GadgetX, and today I'm going to go over some options for wireless file transfers on Android. Now this is really a rundown. We've covered almost all of these apps before, and we went into more detail in each of their respective articles and videos. So if you want a full setup guide for any of the apps shown here, be sure to check out my article on GadgetX. But when it comes to transferring files wirelessly, there are several great options on Android. Now the first option we have for you is called AirDroid. You can download the Android app for free on the Play Store. But to get the most out of this service, you'll also need to install the desktop program for Mac or Windows. If you're on Linux or if you just don't feel like installing another desktop program, there's also a web-based interface, but it's a little limited in comparison. Once you have everything set up on both devices though, you get a dashboard of sorts that allows you to control and manage your Android device directly from your computer. This means you can browse your phone or tablet's storage, then easily copy and paste files over to your computer. You can even set it up to allow you to respond to text messages and calls from your computer, so it's a very robust app. After that we have Superbeam. This app uses a combination of Wi-Fi Direct and NFC, which means it's an awesome option for transferring files between Android devices. The best way to use this is to have Superbeam installed on both devices. That way you can just select a file and share it via Superbeam, then touch the two devices together to initiate the transfer with NFC. The files are sent over Wi-Fi Direct, so both the devices will have to be on the same local network, but the transfer speeds are incredibly fast. Now this next option is geared towards sharing photos and large video files. It's called WeTransfer, and again it's a free app that you can find on the Play Store. Basically, you just select your photo or video, type in the recipient's email address, then the file will be uploaded, and a download link will be sent to that email address. Pretty simple, right? Up next we have Pushbullet. This is my personal favorite since it makes file sharing quick and painless. Once you've downloaded the Android app, there are plugins for Windows, Mac, and Chrome that you can install, which will let you share files between all of your devices. From the Android side of things, you just select a file to share, then choose Pushbullet as your share option, and from here, you can choose which device you'd like to send it to. But Pushbullet has a 25 megabyte file size limit, so it's not the perfect solution for all use cases. That's why the same developers have created a new app called Portal, which can be downloaded separately from the Play Store. This one uses Wi-Fi Direct, so both devices will need to be on the same network. But basically, you just head to a website on your computer, then use the Android app to scan a QR code that shows up on that page. Once you've done that, you can drag any file into your browser window, and it'll immediately pop up on the Portal app on your phone. So there are definitely some good options when it comes to transferring files wirelessly on Android. But like I said, we've got all these covered in more detail at the full tutorial. As always, though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.